Today's national news covers outbreaks of COVID in our own province, a complete clampdown on prison visits and serious concern in the capital where entertainment and eateries are likely to be closed. Thailand on Monday reported 194 new COVID cases, continuing the increase shown over the past few days and seeing strict controls going into effect within the capital, along with plans discussed for an even stronger clampdown. With the biggest issue being travel over Song Kran, visitors to seven pubs or entertainment areas in the capital have been advised to put themselves in contact with local health authorities, as Reuters in Thailand are reporting that already... 196 entertainment venues in the capital have been ordered to close for two weeks. With these outbreaks spreading already to the other communities, this and the occurrences at the end of December are eerily similar, as both occurred directly before traditional mass exoduses for national holidays. More worrying for other areas of the country is the potential spread as travellers become visitors to remote areas. The Health Ministry has stated that new clusters in Bangkok have been detected within the entertainment zones and reached, in their words, a critical level, which is likely to see on-site alcohol sales again banned in most places in the capital and the possibility of relisting Bangkok and neighbouring provinces as red, which would mean that travel is restricted. According to the Department of Disease Control, the expectation is that the Health Ministry will ask for all eateries, pubs and clubs to be either closed or ordered to close by 9 o'clock in the evening and alcohol sales blocked. Independent of this outbreak, the other in a fully occupied jail has seen prison visits banned in all jails nationwide for 30 days, with families allowed to contact via telephone apps and transfer money to those behind bars. All 143 prisons and correctional facilities throughout the country must strictly comply with this order. Meanwhile at home and in our own province, the Public Health Office listed nine locations within the city of Chambury and Sirachar where current COVID patients have visited so that the public can review their travel over the past few weeks and keep an eye on their health. Eight new cases within our own province, the first spotted since January, and mostly either Japanese who'd visited entertainment zones in the capital or Thais who've come into contact with them. As the province struggles to regain a semblance of normality after shutdowns here, businesses are hoping that the numbers will quickly dwindle, all hope that it won't end up with another outbreak that could see shutdowns here, and many are rightfully concerned that thousands from the capital will travel here during Song Kran. In other news, the roadworks in Jomtien Second Road are reported to have come to a close Hideous traffic delays are expected to end there at least, a relief for businesses. And for a happy ending to an otherwise dismal news bulletin, good news for bike owners. That's the ones with engines. As the red and white Patia Dice Run this Saturday sees all bikers, from individuals and couples through to club members, invited to join together in a fun run. For full details, check our Facebook page. That's facebook.com forward slash fabulous103. And if you're one of those guys that likes to rev up and cruise, this is the one for you. With the reminder, mitts, masks and meters, wash your hands, wear a mask and keep social distancing. And the Met Office promising highs today of just 30, dropping down to 27. Rain throughout the day and a chance of storms. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme. Like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.